Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's work through an example where nothing is written on the board except the problem. So, do we remember how to do this? Here we have x squared minus 3x minus 40 divided by x minus 8. So remember that we take the coefficients of the numerator and we put them in a row. 1, negative 3, negative 40. So we have 1, negative 3, negative 40. Then we take the coefficient of the number in the denominator and we change the sign. So negative 8 becomes a positive 8. So we put that here, then we put a line here and the line there. Next thing we do is we take the first number and we drop it down here. Then we go 8 times 1 is 8. And remember this is the easy method because we change the sign of this number which means we can now add the numbers. Negative 3 plus 8 is a positive 5. And then 8 times 5 is 40. We add the two numbers together, we get 0. Remember, this re represents the remainder. And since it's 0, there is no remainder. This number here represents x to the first power. This re represents x to the zero power. Why x to the first power? Because here we have a quadratic equation where this was x squared, this was x to the first, and this x to the zero. If we only have an x minus 8 here, if this is x to the first power, this simply reduces the answer from x squared to x to the first power. So the result is x plus 5. And so if we divide this polynomial by x minus 8, we get x plus 5. And that is how we do shorthand division. Well, not really. We don't call it shorthand division. We call it synthetic division instead of longhand division. And it's a lot faster and a lot cleaner. And that is how it's done.